So before we proceed into the video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you are new to the channel. And then turn on that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. See, I guess it's me, Builder Boy here. We are back again to One Piece Open Seas. And in this video, is we are going to be showing you guys how to get the mink race right here. But this is just going to be a walkthrough. We're not really going to be recording the whole process like getting the items. We're just going to be showing you guys step by step on obtaining the mink race. So make sure to follow the guide. Alright, so for the step one is we have to acquire the shard flower from any chest. You can basically farm for it. It's like 1 out of 100 chests so it may take a while looking for this one but guys it's pretty easy just go ahead and pick up some chests like this one and oops look at that we just got a life bound step 2 is locate the alchemy lab which is located in this island make sure to keep in mind where it is because this is where you craft the items that you got from different type of bosses step 3 once you got the shard flower from chest just go out into alchemy lab and touch this burner right here and boom we just got magma rose right here Step 4 is to obtain the soul fragment by killing the raid inferno which look like this one. So I suggest to do it with friends because this guy is so tough. Step 5, once you get the magma rose and soul fragment, go back in the alchemy lab and locate this cauldron right here. And in order to create a light rose, just go ahead and use your magma and your soul fragment by touching this cauldron right here to create a light rose. Step 6 is to get the mysterious seagull from this NPC right here. It has like 1 over 300 chances so it also might take a while and once you get it just go ahead and proceed to the burner again in the alchemy lab and yep burn it to get a sage seagull step 7 is go to the altar underneath the bound npc right here at this side you will be able to see a hole and as you can see that table right there is the altar go ahead and touch it with your sage seagull and then it will become a enchanted sage seagull right there and then Step 8 is head over to Alchemy Lab again to the cauldron right here and then use your enchanted sage seagull and the light rose in order to get the flower of life. And the last part is talk to the main scientist right here and get the serum of roses by giving him the flower of life. But guys take note you need to be max level and must have 80,000 negative or positive reputation. And there you go we just got the serum of roses all you gotta do is just click it twice and you'll get some kind of warning right here in order to to make sure and boom we became a mink right here and also you will be resetted to level one so yep good luck on leveling up again if you are still confused on how you will do it here's a full walkthrough and it made by free special shout out to this guy and yeah what i did is just show you guys where the spot and how you will get it in the game and yep hopefully it will help you guys out and yeah let's get in to the buffs of this race so basically the buff of this race is basically better you will get 1.3 uh, times electric damage two times like low uh, length right here and even two times stamina as you can see right here i got 20k stamina and we also get like 20 walk speed right here and a combat variant of electro combat so yeah that's basically it if it's too fast feel free to pause every single step right there and hopefully if this helped you guys out make sure to leave a like don't forget to hit that subscribe and turn on that notification bell on for more awesome videos like this see you guys as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace out